Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanmant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program on linear search. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in a angular brace we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file. Next we will write wide main curly open brace and here I am going to declare array of type integer and whose size is 10 next we'll put comma write the next variable i and the next variable position is equal to minus 1 so next we'll write element and n here i'm going to write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user how many elements using printf function in a double quotation mark i'm going to uh, ask the user how many elements end the double quotation mark and put semicolon so using scanf statement we are going to receive the response from user through keyboard so in a double quotation mark we will write percentage d format specifier that represent integer type of data end the double quotation mark put comma and we will use the variable ampersand of n after this we have to ask the user to enter the elements using printf statement in a double quotation mark i'll write enter the elements backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon now using iterative statement for i is equal to 0 i is less than uh, n then i plus plus and here using scanf statement percentage d in a double quotation mark put comma and here we are going to write ampersand of a of i so once we receive all the elements then we have to ask the user uh, enter the search element using printf statement so here i am going to write printf in a double quotation mark i am going to write enter the search element so end the double quotation mark put semicolon and we will use scanf statement to get the response from the user through keyboard here i'm going to write percentage d format specifier uh, put comma here we are going to take this variable element ampersand of ele and put semicolon so after receiving the search element we'll iterate through each and every block of the array so using for loop i is equal to zero i is less than n i plus plus next we are going to check the condition if element is equal to a of i then it has to initialize the index number i to the variable position and put semicolon so once it is found the control has to come out of the looping structure so that's the reason we have to write break statement over here curly closing brace for this if statement now we are going to write if position is greater than or equal to zero here the uh, element may be present uh, in the first block whose index number is zero or greater than zero next we'll write printf statement here we are going to write the element percentage d is present at position percentage d end the double quotation mark put comma and this percentage d refers to the value stored in the variable called element next percentage d refers to the position and then closing brace and put semicolon now if this is not true then else part has to execute here i'm going to write printf in the double quotation mark i'm going to write the search element percentage d is not found and the double quotation mark write early and here we'll write get ch function and curly closing brace so let us take an example here i'll write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user 
how many elements so here i'm going to write how many elements for example i'm going to enter here um, let us write three okay next i'm going to write so here n is equated with value three and enter the elements now it is ask the user to enter the elements just because of this backward slash n the cursor come down to the next line for example i'm going to enter one two and three then here after this scanf so we have initialized three variables uh, here you can see for i is equal to zero scanf percentage d a of zero so a of zero is equated with value one again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one now i value is one so a of one is equated with value two so next again uh, the control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one now i is two two is less than three yes condition is true once again it is going to receive the next element a of two is equal to three once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one now i is three three is less than three no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement what is the next statement it is going to ask the user to enter the search element so here i am going to write enter the search element so for example i am going to enter three okay so here the variable eld is equated with value three okay next using this iterative statement we are going to check out each and every element present in an array so how exactly it will be mapped in memory so it will be mapped in a memory something like this one two here you can see one two three and here you can write index number zero one and two correct yes so let us check out this one here we'll see for i is equal to zero for the first time what is the element element is three so three is equal to a of i value is zero for the first time a of zero consisting of what one so this is not true hence these two statement will not get executed again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one one is less than three condition is true next we are going to check element is equal to a of one correct a of one consisting of what value two is three equal to two no condition fails once again these two statements will not get executed again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by one now i value is two two is less than three yes condition is true next we are going to check element three is equal to a of two a of two consisting of what three so three is equal to three yes it is true once it is true it is going to initialize the value of i what is the value of i i is two index number correct so here the variable pos position is equated with value two then break encounters it is going to bring the control comes out of the looping structure and it is going to check position is equal to two position is greater than or equal to zero yes position two is greater than or equal to zero hence it is true once it is true then it is going to print the element uh, element is what three the element three is present at position percentage d position that is two in case if you do not find the element or the search element then else part will get executed how if i say four four is not present in this array okay so it is going to iterate through and it is going to check out and every time this particular condition will be false because four is not present in this array one two three is present four is not present if i enter search element as four then it is going to iterate through all these iterations but every time this condition is false so that time so position is not greater than or equal to zero initially we equated with the position is equal to minus one which is not greater than or equal to zero hence this returns false value once it is false then it is going to print the else part the search element four is not found let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen
here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c++ compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that means there is no syntax error and i'll press enter here and now we are going to run this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user how many elements for example i am going to enter 3 and press enter now it is asking the user to enter the elements for example i am going to enter 1 2 and 3 and i'll press enter now it is asking the user to enter the search element for example i am going to enter 3 which is present in index number 2 now i am going to press enter here you can see the element 3 is present at position 2 now let us run this program one more time by pressing control f9 once again i am going to enter 3 for how many elements next we are going to enter the elements 1 2 and 3 now enter the search element i am going to enter 4 and i'll press enter here you can see it is printing the else part the search element 4 is not found i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you